In this lesson, we're going to look at what is called the two stage workflow. Okay, and it's not a workflow that you're immediately going to do, especially if you're a beginner, but it's important to know right now at the beginning of the course, what this two stage workflow is, and how you eventually want to be working when you're creating your drawings. So first of all, what is workflow? Workflow really is just the order and the steps you take in order to get the work done, right? You know, so step one, do this, step two, step three, step four, until you know you get to step 10 maybe and you're finished. Now this two stage workflow really involves two parts, right? And the first part is called the rough and the second part is called the refined, right? And this, re re uh, and this is in regards to the rough drawing and the refined drawing, okay? And the rough drawing really is the phase where we want to make sure that the foundations are solid, right? The foundations are solid, that the bulk of the theory is being implemented. And I've got some examples, so we'll look at some examples just now. And it's our planning or our blueprint phase, right? Planning or blueprint phase. Okay, just a way to think about the rough phase of a drawing, okay? It's also very loose and it's very carefree, okay, carefree. Let me also say that the rough stage is usually very ugly, okay? And that's important. It's okay for it to be ugly because it needs to check some boxes. That's its goal. It's not, its goal is not to look pretty, right? It's not to look like a good sketch. It's meant to be ugly. It's meant to look like a construction site, right? All of the stuff that happens at the construction site is very different to what happens to the building in this example, when the construction's finished and then the interior designers come and the guys who design the facade come and they make it look beautiful on the outside. But really you can't do all of that stuff, which that would all fall into the refined stage, right? You can't do all of that stuff unless you have solid foundations, your bulk of your theories in there, You've, you've got the planning and the blueprints, it's loose, it's carefree, it's ugly, but it works, right? Everything needs to work, right? It works, so everything works. Just move this page up a bit. So this is the rough stage, and how I want you guys to feel in your hearts, or your minds, or both, when you're working and doing the rough stage, is to really just be carefree. Please don't worry about what the work looks like. Now you might say, well, that's that's kind of crazy. Like, isn't this a drawing? Isn't it supposed to look good? The the good looking part of it does come in the refine stage, right? But the rough stage is really planning, making sure everything's in its proper perspective. Okay, I'll get to the examples just now and um, it'll make more sense. Nevertheless, the refine stage is really about professionalism, neatness, professionalism, neatness, Cleanliness, I guess, right? Neatness, let's say neatness and cleanliness. A good presentation. And really the, the general prettiness of it. The general prettiness, you know, applying filters, smoothing out the lines a little bit, doing clean lines, doing kind of inked type of clean lines and stuff. None of these things can be done without the rough, so that's always primary. But really, the, the refined stage is where you make the work look good, right? This is where you make the work look good. But more important than making the work um, look good is this is really the stage where you can be the most creative, right? So you can be free and be the most creative that you can be. Be the most creative. And the reason is, because when you've built this rule system, if you wish, or the solid foundation, or imagine you were building a house, you've built the structure of the house, you've built the walls, you've built the floors, you've built, put the doors in, everything's in. You can really be free in sort of your decorating of that house. You know, choosing the color, choosing the paint, choosing the furniture, where you're gonna hang the pictures. You don't have to worry about structural stuff or technical things anymore. You can just worry about creative things, cool lines, trying things with the colors, trying things with how you, you know, might paint it or might do the line weighting a different way or trying some new things, right? And so the refined stage is where, really where you can be free and be creative. And so just as I spoke about the posture of the rough stage where you're not worrying about the prettiness of it, 
right? The refined stage is where you can worry about the prettiness of it and you're free to do the fun, creative, decorative things to the piece where you don't, where you know that you're building this stuff on the solid rough. And so as we move through the course, you'll learn to distinguish what makes a rough good and right based on the theory and then how to refine. And refinement really, I mean, if we had to triangle out rough and refined, um, it's going to look something like this. Everything's done in the rough. All the theory is done in the rough. Everything's pretty much done in the rough. And then the refined is like just finishing it off. Ironically, this takes 20% of the time and this takes 80% of the time to do, right? So that's the 80-20 rule in terms of rough and refined. Okay, so hopefully we're pretty clear on this two-stage workflow of rough and refined. So let's take a look at a few examples and this is going to shock you, I think. So here is a piece I did of a, a blood elfie type of mage. And um, on the left side, you can clearly see my super beautiful rough. I'm just going to mark it out there. And uh, then my super beautiful uh, refined version. All right. And you can see, uh, well, probably it may look crazy, especially if you're beginning, it may look crazy. Like, how did I go from this to this? Like, that just doesn't make any sense in your mind. How did that happen? And we'll cover this through the course. But in terms of the two-stage workflow, this is pretty much what a two-stage workflow looks like. You have rough structural drawing where everything's in its place. And over here, I was marking out the spell because I painted that in. This was this ended up being a painting, not so much of an illustration per se. But here, everything's just rough, but everything's in its right place. I've kind of worked out the technical details of things and the positioning of things and the structure and the forms of things. You know, I felt out and I've applied all the theories to make sure that this feels right and is structurally right. And I know that once this is done, it's actually quite easy for me to come on top and kind of do what a lot of beginners stop doing, kind of adding the nice lines, adding the detailed eyes and the details and the nose and stuff. But generally, if you start with a refined stage, it's just built on really weak foundations and it just is horrible, right? It ends up looking bad and then the, the artist can't understand why the work looks poor, is not working, yet you're doing the line waiting and all the cool things, you know, you see your favorite artists doing. So that's one example of rough and refined. Here's another example. It's just a portrait and it's basically the same thing, right? It's basically the same thing. We've got rough on the left side, refined on the right. And uh, we'll go through what I'm about to say in more detail. But what actually is key to remember here is when we think about the shape form detail structure of how art is theoretically structured. And let's go into example mode on that, right? The structure of how we think about art, so shape, form, and detail, actually implies a workflow, right? It implies a workflow in that we will start with shape, uh, well, that we have shape and form and detail kind of structurally placed, and then we move on to refining all of these together, right? in really a refinement workflow where we're still thinking about all of these elements, but our mindset is different. So what I mean by this, if that was a little confusing, is that our global category or our global workflow is rough and refined, sure. But as a beginner, you're not going to be able to do this off the bat because there are actually a multitude of theories that need to be applied. So the rough stage, and we will go through definitely great solid workflows on this, is actually made up of a few stages itself. And these stages are broken down into shape, form, and detail. And then we move on to the refined stage, which has its own theories, but they're nothing crazy like what is found in the rough stage. And then here we talk about things like gesture, which we've got an entire module on gesture to go through. And um, form involves anatomy and the structure of things. And uh, gesture going back to shape also has got to do with character composition. That's both symbolic and literal composition. And then details is really detailing, you know, detailing things, st stylizing of things, etc. Even though some of the stylistic elements are also in the shape stage.
So hopefully this isn't too confusing for you right now, but just know that the rough stage and the refined stage are the sort of the global workflow. And once you've had a bit of practice, you'll be able to do all of the theoretical things in the rough stage and then work them up and make them beautiful in the refined stage, just as we see in these kind of demos. So while it may look um, like kind of pretty rough and, you know, although you know that structurally everything's in its place, there is a lot of theory happening in the rough side of something, a lot of theory, in fact, pretty much all the theory. And that's a lot of what the course has got is all these theories that help you build a good solid rough. Because generally speaking, I don't want to say it as a global rule, but it's quite easy to finish up something that is fundamentally strong, right? But you can't finish up something that's fundamentally weak because then it's still weak. All right. So that is the rough and the refined workflows. And uh, we'll get more into it as the course goes on, but I want to introduce it to you now so that you start thinking about the stage of drawing and also that as you're doing, as you're drawing, that you strive to work in these two stages and that you are fearless and crazy and are not holding back in the rough. And that once you're happy with the rough, then, and, and keep it rough, doesn't need to be crazily detailed. Then you can go into the detail stage and build on it and make it look beautiful. So always working in these two stages. Let's move on.